Hi everyone. So I'm, as we discussed on Discord, this is a very short video on how you can transform or transfer alpha trees into true terrain assets and use, in my opinion, the best scattering system for Blender um, as of now. So very easy. So just open a standard um, Blender instance. I'm already in viewport shading with um, Nishita Sky, nothing fancy. So I'm heading over to Alpha Trees and I'm using clean panels here. So what we're going to do is create a wood, a forest, so which does not contain just one single tree. So um, let's do an, I don't know, that's one of, we just have to go for it. Scots Pine. Let's just do, we've got four Scots Pine, actually we've got a couple of Scots Pine um, models. So let's go with this, you import that. Bring it over here. You don't even have to do that. Bring in the next one. Bring in the next one. And over here. And then let's do this one as well. Bring this over here. Um, let's check. Okay, we can see there's a lot of scaling done so what we're going to do is select all and apply all transformations so we don't see any we don't get any surprises when we're actually using them so what we're going to do now is very quickly select all of them head over to our preferences look for true terrain and go to import asset select it and we call that alpha scots pine wood and i'm copying that because the asset category should be selected as custom and need to be exactly the same word over here um, we are good to go. Create asset from selected. It creates a very crappy uh, icon, but that's what you get. But we have our true terrain asset. And so I'm just going to open up a new Blender start page and bring in one of my height maps. Let's go with, I don't know, uh, doesn't matter, come on, um, rocky cliffs, it doesn't really matter, because I just want to show you not only that it works, but how you should or could use that with the modifiers. Okay, so, I mean, the main point is already done, is how you use, how you convert alpha trees to true terrain asset, and that's what we have already done. So, let's take a look. Um, we obviously need to change the lighting here a bit. I'm heading over to true assets, my materials head over to my presets, bring that in, so we get a little bit of diversity here, but now is the most important part, let's head over to asset, and here we've got Alpha Scott's Pine Wood, and we're going to add that in here, and already can see, so let's head over back to viewport shading, we've got our alpha trees in here. Now it's not usable as it is right now. So what are we going to do? So the first thing is we're going to the modifiers tab. My favorite and first modifier is the camera cull. So let's go with this. Do, so that's actually fine. 
The next one we need to do is, um, I like slope mask, so I usually go with 0.3, which should suffice. And very important with alpha trees is follow object. And the object our trees should follow is, of course, our camera. What you should do is also select rotate 90 degrees and then heading over to our scatter um, category decrease the randomize to zero because otherwise it would just float around so that's now you have everything aligned to the camera and I'm also decreasing the amount of normal alignment because I want the trees to be straight up um, bit of offset because we do have some displacement in our map and let's take a look on how that looks not that bad it's a little bit scarce right now so let's increase that to 0.01 better and now we're going to go with oops yeah it doesn't really matter we can because it's so light on the system but what I don't like is having these trees on the mountain tops so we're going back to our asset modifiers and also in, um, add a height mask and what we're going to do is increase the maximum height to something like this and so we have the tops of our mountains free um, and Actually, we should be good to go. The only thing I'm going to do to make this a little bit more interesting is add a subdivision surface modifier, hide it and bring it on top. So we get a little bit more geometry into our terrain. So let's see how this works out. And I mean, we've got hundreds of trees in our scene now. And that would probably take quite a lot of time on most systems. But as soon as they have um, set up all the scatter systems, it should be a very quick job. And there we go. We already, and you can see, I've set this up with 200. That doesn't look that bad. And that's how I use alpha trees in true terrain. We don't need to wait on that. So I hope that was helpful for some of you. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks a lot. Bye.